Hi, I'm Haley Haynes and welcome to the Ingles Table. Today we're going to make sweet potatoes with veggie chili. I got everything I need from Ingles, so let's get cooking. This is one of my favorite recipes to make in the winter, but really I make it year round, but it's really nice for a cold day. So we're going to start by heating up our pan on a low to medium heat. We're going to add some olive oil. We're going to want to make sure that coats the pan fully. Then we're gonna add some onions and jalapenos. I like a lot of spice, but if you don't, you might wanna go easy on the jalapenos. Gonna add some green peppers next. We're gonna cook these for about five to seven minutes or until the onions start to turn translucent. All right, I've let these get nice and cooked. So now we're gonna add my favorite part to this recipe, the sweet potatoes and apples. Apples are pretty unique to have in a chili, but I think they add a nice little bite and they're really delicious. Let's get these all mixed in. I used a red apple, but you can use any apple you happen to have around the house. I love adding apples to any kind of soup pretty much. It's really delicious. Gonna add our chili seasoning next. This is one of my favorite Laura Lynn products to get. It has all the chili seasonings you need. It's got onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, everything in one pack. Really great for any chili. Wanna get these vegetables nice and coated here to make sure all the spices mix and caramelize over them. So we're gonna let this cook for about another two to three minutes just to get everything caramelized. All right, I've let those vegetables cook down a little bit. And now I'm gonna add about two cups of vegetable broth. If you're not a vegetarian, you could use any type of broth, chicken, beef. I actually make my own stock a lot and I can put a recipe for that in the description below. It's really easy and fun to make and it makes your house smell delicious, much like the soup will. So I'm gonna add some beans now. I decided to use black beans and garbanzo beans, but you could use any of your favorite beans. Some people like to drain their beans to get some of the salt flavor out, but I just go ahead and pour them in as is to make the soup a little thicker. Well, there's my garbanzo beans. All right, and now we're gonna add some tomatoes. If you love tomato flavor, a tip I have is to add some tomato paste. It'll really bring out that tomato flavor. All right, I'm gonna get this nice and mixed. You wanna remember to keep mixing as you go to make sure nothing gets stuck to the bottom, that all these vegetables are integrated. So now we're gonna add something really unique to a chili, which is coconut milk. And Laura Lynn even makes some. It is so delicious. It's gonna add a really unique flavor with the apples. Right. Gotta get all of that in there. A little messy. <laughs> so I know I already added my chili powder, which has a lot of great things in it. But if you're like me and you love garlic, you might want to add just a tad bit more garlic powder. You could even chop up some fresh garlic if you really want to get that strong hint of garlic flavor. All right. So we're gonna wanna bring this up to a medium to high heat now to bring this to a boil. And I'm gonna add just a little salt and pepper. Not too much pepper if you add in a jalapeno though, cause it can get really spicy. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're gonna bring this to a boil and you're gonna wanna let it cook for at least 45 minutes, but you could cook this you know, for a few hours even, let your house smell all nice and great. You could even bring it to a boil and transfer it to a slow cooker and cook it all day to really get all of these strong vegetable flavors. And I made mine vegetarian, obviously, but you could easily add meat to this. Ingalls has a great meat department. You could add ground beef, turkey, chicken, or even a meatless option. You know, the plant-based that they sell in the freezer section at Ingalls is great. All right, so we're gonna let this cook and then we'll be back to show you how it turns out. All right, I've let this simmer for about an hour and a half, so it's really nice and smelling great in here. I'm gonna garnish this though with some Greek yogurt. Most people use sour cream, but I find this to be you know, a healthy option. Just gonna put a nice dollop in there and use some chives. I also like to garnish chili with cilantro. That tastes really good. And like I said, you could add meat to this easily. You could add bacon bits on top or the plantless options at Ingalls. So I like to use cornbread. I got these in the bakery section. They have delicious homemade bread there. It tastes so fresh, just like homemade. So I'm gonna crumble that in there. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bite. This is delicious. I hope you guys make this and if you do, tag me on Instagram at Lauren Lynn Obsessed. And thank you for joining me here at the Ingalls table. Don't forget to check out our website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. See you next time.